It takes a village to raise a child. How important is a community in raising children? Are you someone that grew up with a big family and lots of people around or the opposite? Many people would argue that it takes a village to raise a child and so would I. Today, I will tell you how being raised by a child offers many benefits. I'll give you some research and I will give you an insight on my own personal experience. Now that I've introduced my topic, I will explain what it means to have a village. The term, it takes a village to raise a child, means you have a big family of friends and family surrounding you, and it comes with many benefits. One of the biggest benefits is helpful for many parents with childcare. With many parents working long hours, it is helpful to have a system going. One example is if one parent drops the kids off at school and grandma picks them up and feeds them dinner and the parent picks them up after. Along with this, having a village is helpful to share some resources. Another big benefit is that it leads to a healthier family overall. While being a single parent, even just one child can be done, it does not mean it is easy in the slightest bit. Having a community to support you in not just a physical matter, but also in a mental matter can make all the difference. Every village may look different to one another. Not everyone is fortunate to have a loving and supportive family. And it is always not, and it's not always easy either to find their family or their group of people. A village can be anyone from your family, friends, coworkers, peers, neighbors. And I personally met one of my best friends who I consider like family, sophomore year Spanish class, and to this day, she's one of my best friends. Now that I have told you about that, I will get into some statistics. To emphasize my point that it is truly beneficial to be raised in an environment surrounded by lots of people, I will give you some research done. Research shows that, and I quote, children from inact two parent families have consistently been found to have better educational out outcomes such as higher achievement test scores or high graduation rates. Now, this does not mean just because a child that does not have two parents won't be able to get the same achievement outcome as a parent with, as a child with two parents. It's just an example and some research. It is also important to keep in mind that the way we view families and communities may look different to everybody. The Journal of research and crime and delinquency reports that the most reliable indicator of violent crime in a community is the proportion of fatherless families with the lack of with the lack of a good role model and enough support in situations like in these situations this could happen this is not the sole cause but it's just some research even in fatherless families it is beneficial to have a good community around you with good role models to help raise you and set good examples now that I've given you some research and statistics, I will now give you my own perspective. I'm all for the saying that it takes a village to raise a child. And I'm saying this as someone who was that child. I'm Hispanic and Italian. So I've noticed something, I've noticed that in those cultures, it is very community centered, like family. It's a very common trend. Because my family is a part of these cultures, they're very, pas they're very passionate people. When they love, they love a lot. When they hate, they hate a lot. They're all in no matter what, and that's just the type of people that they are, and they would do anything for anyone in the family. There are also many traditions in my family that keep us so close. Every Sunday, my family gathers at my grandmother's house for Sunday pasta, and this is something that we all look forward to every week. I'm also very fortunate that while my family is very close emotionally, we are also physically close. What I mean by this is my mom's side of the family lives within five minutes of each other, which is great. But what is even better is that on my dad's side, my grandmother lives one, has one house down from me and my great grandmother lives two blocks away from us. This makes it very easy to see each other. My family is either a quick drive or a simple walk away. Because I could say I was raised by a village, the village has always been there to provide for anyone. I never really had a babysitter that wasn't family. If it wasn't my grandmother babysitting me, it was the other grandmother or really any family member that was available. This also helped grow my relationships with these family members. Not just babysitting, but really anything I need, they've always been there for me in reason. I also wanna mention when I say my family, it's not just blood family I refer to. There have been plenty of people along the way that have become like my family. 
that we would do anything for each other. Now that I have given you my perspective on this, I will conclude my speech. In conclusion, having a village or community to raise a child is extremely beneficial. Based on the benefits, research, and my own personal experience, having a good community is something amazing to have. I hope you enjoyed my speech and I hope that I've been able to give you some good information to use in your own life.